It's not working all right. Not beeping, nor whirring, nor nothing. And here's why. Three holes in the rubber cable. Just like the holes in the gup. Three more holes here. And here. Hmm. Who's biting our equipment? <sighs> Captain, Quasi, I found another set of teeth. Where? Yeah. They were here just a second ago. Look! It's gone. There's nothing around but those skinny little fish. It's like someone's playing tricks on us and then disappearing. Who would do that? I know, but I wish I didn't. It is none other than the Tri-Toothed Terror. The who-toothed water? The Tri-Toothed Terror, a giant sea monster with three huge, sharp teeth. He sneaks up on pirate ships, fights them with his enormous teeth, <coughs> then disappears into thin air. You think the Tri-Toothed Terror could be around here, following us? Hmm, I don't think we're dealing with the Tri-Toothed Terror. Well, if it isn't the Tri-Toothed Terror that made these holes, then what was it, I ask ye? <laughs> Where's that coming from? <laughs> it's a blue whale. Maybe he's seen something that could help us work this out. <laughs> Excuse me, but... <laughs> What's so funny? It's me eye patch, Crooked. <laughs> Something's tickling my blubber, but I can't tell what. I wish it would stop now. <laughs> Can you help me? It's down by my tail. <laughs> ah, we've seen these marks before. Oh, it's under my chin now. <sighs> that scurvy tried to terror must be nearby, but where? Oh, I've, I've got to get out of here. Hold on to me. <laughs> Whoa, that was a wild ride. I wish I knew who was tickling me. I think the creature who gave you the giggles is the same one that's been giving us trouble. It left more of them tiny round marks in your blubber. Don't worry, Blue Whale. The Octonauts will find the troublemaker and stop him. Ah, no, nope, too big. Too small, too thin. Nope, nope, nope. <gasps> Wait a minute. There, that's it. Captain, I know whose teeth these are. Great work, Shellington. They're called cookie cutter sharks. They dig their teeth into a whale's blubber and leave round holes, the way a cookie cutter leaves a shape in dough or pastry. So that's why they went after the blue whale. They wanted a bite of his blubber. How do I fix it? Our ship, the Octopod, has a sick bay. I could put some medicine on your nose there, bandage it up, and make it as good as new. Dude, you're the best. Let's go! Right this way. Don't worry, Lemmy. Once your nose is all better, you won't bump into things anymore. <coughs> Thanks. OK, Lemmy. First, you need a little medicine on your nose. <laughs> that tickles. Second, you need a bandage. Whoa! Thanks. So, is that it? Can I go home now? You need to wait a little while for your nose to heal. If you go right now, you'll still get lost and bump into things. <sighs> OK, but do I have to wait in here? I like it better outside. Only if you stay right outside the octopod. I'll hang out right here. And I'll be back to check on you later. Cool! Captain. I've bandaged up Lemmy's nose. As soon as it's better, he'll be able to find his way around again. Good work, Peso. Now, show me how you bandage a nose. <sighs> I'm bored. There's not much to do out here. 
wouldn't hurt just to leave for a minute. And then I'll totally come right back. <laughs> hmm. I think I'll check on Lemmy. Oh, no. Where did he go? He's swimming away in a crazy zigzag pattern, really fast. Flafferty flippers. He can't tell where he's going. Captain, he could get hurt. Peso, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, there's a young lemon shark out there whose nose isn't working. He could get lost or hurt if we don't catch up with him right away. Peso, quasi into the guppe. Right here. Oi, oi, cat. Ah, there he is. This is a fast one, that's for sure. He's heading that way. Watch out! Yeah. Hmm. But none of my old books mention a shark as small as the one you saw, Peso. See? Your eyes must have been playing tricks on you. I know what I saw. It was a teeny tiny little shark. And if he was swept downwards, we'll have to look for him in deeper, darker waters. Come on, we've got a tiny shark to find. Barnacle's out. Yeah. How are we supposed to find anything down here in the dark? Peso said the little shark glows, so let's shut off our lights so we can see if anything's glowing out there. Shiver me whiskers! It looks like outer space. Each of those lights is a different sea creature. One of them must be the little shark. If he was swept down this way, he probably didn't get far. We'll have to split up. But be careful. It's so dark down here that it's easy to get lost. Deep sea suits on, everyone. Aye, 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 aye Captain. Uh, excuse me, are you... Oh, you're not a tiny shark at all. You're an anglerfish. <laughs> you got that right, pal? Ah, oh, these are no sharks, that's for sure. Huh? Mm, just a glowing jellyfish. Oh, that one's really bright. Nope, hatchet fish. Where are you, little shark? Where am I? Peso to Captain Barnacles. I seem to have got separated from the group. Where are you? Can anybody hear me? Oh no, my radio isn't working. I must be too far away from the others. Oh, is that the lantern shark? No, it's much bigger and brighter and it's coming right at me. Yikes! Ahoy, Peso. Quasi? Why are you swimming upside down? I'm not upside down. You're upside down. You got that wrong, pal. Huh? <sighs> Come on, Peso. We need to go find the other octonauts. But we haven't found the tiny shark yet. Peso, I've chased after lots of strange creatures, and the truth is, sometimes you find them, and sometimes you don't. But this one needs our help. Well, if we don't find Captain Barnacles and the others, we're going to need help too. Righto. Let's stick together. I'll look for the shark, while you look for the octonauts. Shellington, have you seen Peso or Quasi?